and we are ready for the update. So Lila is now two months old, which is crazy. I cannot believe that I had a baby two months ago. Um, I feel like everyone fucking says that, so I apologize for that redundance. But some things, if you guys follow us on Instagram and TikTok, then some of these things will not be updates for you. But there are some updates that I have not even shared on there. Mainly that my body <laughs> unintentionally has started basically not, we're not doing the breastfeeding thing anymore. I am at the moment exclusively pumping. We gave up on the nursing thing, which I'm totally fine with. And she is fine also. With that being said, a couple weeks ago I got sick and with that my milk really took a drop in supply so luckily I had a bunch of colostrum in the freezer so when I got sick she got sick and we survived our first little sick session together her big thing is holding my hand these days she loves to hold my hand no matter what we're doing um, so we are bottle feeding her we love the Avent bottles and we have gone between the Bobby formula, the organic uh, European formula, uh, like European based formula, formula. Um, and she seems to do better with the liquid formulas versus the powders. The liquid can be more expensive, but just um, my pediatrician was explaining it to me that they suggest and prefer uh, newborns to have the liquid over powder and the liquid seems to do better on her tummy anyway. Hi! Um, and if you follow us on Instagram or TikTok, you know all about our gas drops trick. So we have been doing the gas drops trick still in her babas and she loves it. She loves her babas, yes. And we had no problem um, doing bottle feeding with Lila because we did that in the hospital also when we were having trouble with someone latching, yeah. And instead of calling her a lazy feeder, I just say she's an efficient feeder. She knows that the bottle is quick and it's also amazing because um, anyone can feed Lila. I can sleep through the night, her dad can feed her. Uh, when she's with her grandparents, they can feed her. And it's just, it's really amazing. I try and, I try and find all the high points that I can for baby shrimp, yes. You're not a lazy feeder, you're amazing. You did exactly what was perfect for you. Yes, I love you. You did great. And yeah, she takes milk like a champ. She's a great eater and she is just so sweet. She is so sweet. And I know that that is like so annoying because I, I get a lot of messages, messages from you guys saying that you know, your baby's super fussy and you don't know what's wrong. And I don't feel like I've ever felt like Lila's too fussy. I feel like whenever she does cry or whine, she just needs something. And I don't know, maybe that's not normal or maybe I just learned her cues quickly. I don't know. But every time she does cry or, you know, just is more talkative than normal. Because sometimes she'll, what I think is crying is just her communicating with us um and so I don't I just don't know what I did to get so lucky I don't know and I cry every day how much I love her it's disgusting and annoying so I apologize for that but she is just doing so well. She absolutely mother effing hates tummy time. But what we started doing for tummy time is I just lay her on me um, and we do tummy time that way. And also the snuggle me breastfeeding support pillow that we got, we just put her up on that like you would like a boppy lounger. And she really enjoys that. She is pretty much sleeping through the night now. She still wakes up. Um, once and then so she normally goes to bed around eight or nine and then she'll be up around three to four and then after that she goes back to sleep uh and normally gets up around seven or eight so there is no like strict schedule that we have lila on right now and that's just wor what works best for us i think not putting her on a strict schedule and just letting her lead the way she's still a newborn she's still a baby baby and you know remember Remembering that she's figuring it out just as much and 
a big mental shift for me with like because i would get like anxious at night i would be so anxious even during nap time of not knowing when she's going to wake up reminding myself that because like you know nobody wants to admit like we're dreading our baby waking up but we, I got this like anxious feeling of waiting for her to wake up and I knew that I'd be a little cranky when she would wake up and I was dreading it and then I just reminded myself like well also when she wakes up at night like she's tired and then she's also hungry or she has wet pants and needs needs to change her pants huh you got spit bubbles galore sister um yeah you're so funny and um really reminding myself that it was it's not only me who is dreading her waking up like she wants to sleep just as much as we want to sleep and also reminding myself that there's a reason that she's waking up she needs something whether it just be needing our attention and our love and you know still figuring out her emotions or she's hungry or she needs to be changed like really remembering these things always helps me just lean into love in the situation to be honest because it's super easy to get overwhelmed and then you're crying because you're tired and so in those moments where you know she's crying or it's the middle of the night and I'm tired I just remind myself that I am your lifeline for everything I am all that you know huh and I'm so happy mommy can be that for you I'm so grateful to be your mommy yeah so grateful so kind of not putting her on too strict of a schedule or routine and it's kind of just been creating a routine itself um, and that's something that I've been sharing on our Instagram stories a lot is that it is more about routines for us than a schedule yeah <clears throat> so more about um, routines than a schedule of waking up and we always change her first and then we have a bubba and then we do some cuddles and we always read a book in the morning and then at nighttime also sticking with the routine versus just a schedule of even she'll go to bed at different times at night and really trusting that process of knowing that there's no right there's no wrong I bought the baby sleep courses and stuff like that and I was just taking them and I'm like this just feels like a lot of pressure it feels like a lot of pressure not only on us but then on a baby who has really no idea what they are doing yet so Miss Lila I mean she's eight weeks old there's not a lot of milestones to hit other than you're recognizing voices you're taking your baba you're doing your tummy time your neck strength is phenomenal you're doing amazing you love going in the car you go get your first round of you know your little shots in two weeks i hate to tell you i do hate to tell you yeah you could get a little jab jab and your little thigh this cute little thigh is gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing yeah you're gonna do great you love your doctor you love them. Um, the dogs are taking to baby amazing. The puppies love you. Grandma and grandpa love you. And it definitely has been interesting trying to balance all of it. Balance it in the sense of it's kind of like figuring out on the days. Oh, you getting tired? The only thing that feels overwhelming is this expectation on self to do all of it every single day. And that's kind of been my mental shift of this new chapter of motherhood of really embracing the days that I do feel like I can do more as well as the days that I feel more run down or I'm being pulled in different directions, whether it be from her needing me more or feeling like I have a lot to get done for work or even like my partner is needing more of my attention. I'm needing more of my attention and needing to take care of myself. It's knowing that just choosing one to three things that day that I'm going to get done and knowing that everything is going to get done. It might not get done that day, but all as well. And I think, um, too, there... The days that feel overwhelming are only because I'm kind of future tripping on what I should be doing or could be doing. And, you know, a lot of people that saying like sleep when the baby sleeps. I don't know who made up that saying, probably a fucking man, because I don't know anyone who can sleep when their baby sleeps. And when she is sleeping, I either, yeah, I either try resting or I try just getting something off my plate. 
Um, and most of the time that first morning nap I have realized is the time that I get things done. Um, I have not looked into a babysitter. We're personally not doing daycare. I've gotten a few questions about what our plan is for that. So luckily I work from home and luckily we have family that is close and, um, you know, always having hands with Lila. Yes. So it's just us during the day. Uh, you know, unfortunately don't have paternity leave here, but that's okay. We make it work. So we are still figuring it out, huh? So I'm excited during Vlogmas to just take it day by day, huh? Take it day by day. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing Vlogmas with a newborn. As I talk to you guys on Instagram, I'm doing it every other day. And then on our Patreon, um, we either have a video or a podcast going up every day. Um, hi, baby. Hi. So on Patreon, it's going to be more of like just kind of journal entries and thoughts around motherhood and my first motherhood um, during the holidays. So what do you think? Did mommy leave anything out? We just spend most of our days talking to each other. We do a lot of talking. You love bath time at night. Yeah, you love your bunny blankie. You love your fleece jammies. Double zip ups all the way. I need to do an updated newborn essentials video. Yeah, I did one for four weeks. So I need to do an updated one. Yeah, we survived our first sickness together though. That's amazing. Yeah, daddy got sick too, huh? Oh, oh, you're tired, huh? You fighting a nap? Is it time for baby to go seep? Seep, seep? Oh, you're getting tired. Look at all this hair coming in. Look at all this hair coming in, Lila Lace. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Tell mama. Yeah. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay. So. That is our update. I mean, it all feels like it just has been blowing by. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but oh my gosh, I feel like she was just, I feel like I just had her. I feel like she just was so small and now she feels like a toddler already. I'm not going to lie. Maybe other moms are going to be able to understand, but I just feel like she's so big and she's only 11 pounds. Maybe that's really big, but some people have babies at 11 pounds. She came out at seven pounds, seven pounds, seven ounces. Now she's 11.1 pounds. Of course you are. Yeah, my little Libra with an Aries moon. Huh? Before stop chewing on those hands. <gasps> oh. Is that my baby? Is that my baby? Is that my shrimp? Nickname, baby Shreya. Yeah. This is the baby. Lila, I'm so obsessed with you. I love you so much. Okay, it is all beginning. Did you grab the batteries? Yeah, we're gonna need more batteries. Huh? We only have six batteries. Luckily, I know a house with a lot of batteries. We're gonna need more batteries. If anyone takes batteries seriously, it's Grandpa Lace. But it is all starting. It is all starting. We're getting everything laid out. First of all, the baby's laid out. Um, getting everything all laid out. Wow, very excited. Okay. Well, I've never bought a nutcracker before. That's very exciting. I love that we went with a... Um, like room beans. Okay. I said room beans. Like for example, I got some things for the kitchen that's all gonna flow together. I got this for the guest bathroom and the other thingy. Is that peppermint? Uh, Iowa pine. Ooh. 
And then I got this one for the kitchen. How cute is this? Santa. Never been to Iowa. You're gonna smell that? Don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> Honestly, I think one of the funniest things I, I bought is this faux tree. <laughs> this, what's this called? Decorative faux fir tree. Looks like Haley if Haley was a tree. I know. I like how you say that as if I didn't get the joke. Uh, ooh, we picked up some <gasps> Christmas books for my widow Goyo today. The night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And it lights up. Oh, that is the so classic, cute. That's the classic story. Yes. And then I have a Frosty the Snowman book somewhere. I thought this was so cute. Baking Spirits Bright. This is going to go phenomenally in the kitchen. I got... What I did was I kind of just took things that are already in the kitchen and just found replacements for them that are very holiday. So, for example, over by our coffee thing, the pumpkins I had, they'll now transition to the little reindeer. I did buy my first snow globe, so that feels very MILF adjacent. That seems like a hot mom Christmas activity. My mom was big on snow globes, and she was pretty hot, so it <laughs> seemed, seemed correct. Also, I loved this. I am carrying a little book about Jane Goodall. If... Anyone who does not know who Jane Goodall is is not someone that I want to be friends with. Jane Goodall, the angel of all. I know that there's not one about Abraham Lincoln. Interesting. And then, fairies are real. Lila, you'll love that. We got a bunch of ornaments. Wow, my brain is not working. I feel as if like, <clears throat> just hot in here, you know? Let me leave the kitchen. Yeah, thanks so much. Doing the Lord's work. Oh, I got this mug, and honestly, I mainly got this to leave out just because I think so holiday, so cute, so fun. Target has such cute Christmas stuff this year, which I'm always surprised when they actually pull through. Um, let's see. Okay. Ooh, I think, like, one of the things... Honey, was this not, like, a vibe? Did you see what I did here? With this napkin holder mm -hmm. so not only is the napkin holder so cute right but then we have these amazing napkins that we got from walmart pioneer woman i know people really like shit themselves over the pioneer woman stuff but then also these like that is fa la 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 i'm hypnotized Christmas. are you yeah, yeah you're welcome um, this was a very strong mom move. This was a strong mom move. Do you want me to start on that? Yes, I do. 100%. What is The it? decorative door panel. Yeah. Wow. This screams I am a mom. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, very excited about that. We need to get moving with this. Uh, wow. Things are happening. This tree pillow that you can't see. Wow. Oh, wow. You ready? Okay, here you go. I don't know how baby sleep through absolutely everything. Oh, look at all her hair coming in. I felt like all her newborn hair fell out just one day and then out of nowhere, I feel like all this hair is here. Who are you? Where is my baby? She said, hands up. This is her baby shrimp, baby Bajoran carrier. She loves it very much. Um, wow. Well, I was tired, tired. Being sick really took it out of me. That was my foot. You just threw that at. How does that go up? Tape? Uh, we're gonna figure it out. Gonna, should we trim it to fit? In my head, the vision. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get more of these candy canes, or lollipops, whatever, candy cane lollipops. Oh, I did not just do that. Did you break one? Uh, I asked you for good. Wow. What is this stuck on? I got your attention? You got my, you always have my attention. He got my attention. 
Christmas towels. The most important. Oh my god, did this come with three towels? Wow. Christmas towels. This is what I was looking for. I love this wonder shop at Target. Six feet garland with the little reindeer. Uh, this will be going in the kitchen. Let's have James do this right now. I know you're doing something else. Who else does this? I know you're doing something else, but uh, let's do what I want to do. Because I need to see it. And in red, like an Aries, woohoo! Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. Love the tree. 